So watching Tower of God last night, episode 3 over on Crunchyroll, and we came across that scene where Rack just really wanted a drink and, you know, he had to get Banana Black. What's neat is that Banana Black is probably a take on Boss Black coffee, which is sold throughout Japan. I buy it every time I go to Awajimaya, and it's just pretty decent black coffee. But we're gonna do Banana Black coffee. I don't, this is gonna be so weird. Let's just, yeah. Now for the banana syrup. This is our menu. We're gonna make a mocha, a hard banana black, and a dalgona, baby. So to make the banana syrup, you're gonna need bananas, preferably over-ripened bananas, but I'm just gonna use these fresh ones. Measure out your bananas to see how much sugar and water you're gonna be needing. Once you measure them out, yeet these into your pot and grab another bowl to measure out your sugar. Since we had 220 grams worth of bananas, I'm gonna use about 160 grams worth of sugar. Just dump those right on top of your bananas, and now let's measure out some water. For the amount of water, I'm gonna use about 200 and 50 grams worth of water. Pop that on top of your bananas and your sugar and go ahead and give this a good mashing. Now, if these bananas were over ripened, we probably could skip this step, but since mine weren't, we're gonna make sure these are broken up fairly well. Bring this over to your stove and bring this over to a medium heat, just so that way we start to see this bubble after about four or five minutes. Once it starts bubbling, you actually wanna turn this off and let it steep for about 15 minutes. After it's done steeping, we do have to strain all this out because we don't want those chunks of banana. Grab your fine mesh strainer and go ahead and strain out all of that syrup down into the pot below. You want to make sure that you kind of press this around, but try not to actually press the bananas into the sieve, otherwise you're going to press too much banana through. I'm going to go ahead and save this banana puree for something else, but now we have our syrup ready to go. It's nice and it's viscous and it tastes like banana syrup. Now we're gonna make some ganache for the mocha. For the ganache, we're gonna use about 15 grams worth of heated up half and half. I just heated it up in the microwave because I didn't feel like making another pot dirty. I go ahead and add about 15 grams worth of chocolate to this at first and constantly add in another 15 to 10 grams worth of chocolate until you have a nice thick consistency. I like to do this in stages so I don't overwhelm the chocolate or the milk and that way you'll get a really nice smooth texture. Now we're gonna try to make this Dalgona style coffee, but I wanted to use this Starbucks Instant Via stuff because I do like the way this tastes for an instant coffee. For this, we're gonna need four packs, and this comes out to about 13 and a half grams worth of coffee. So for that, we need to do equal parts sugar, so I'm gonna go ahead and do about 15 grams worth of sugar for this, and equal parts hot boiling water. So we're gonna need, again, 15, not 22, 15 grams of hot water to this. Now go ahead and whisk this to fully incorporate all three of your ingredients, but we also want to try to incorporate as much air as possible. And since this wasn't working out for me, I'm gonna use power tools. Using the electric mixer did help a bit to get that really, really nice texture, but it still wasn't as frothy and as foamy as most of the Algona coffees. So I'm gonna throw this in the freezer for about five minutes and then try to whisk it again to try to get more volume into this. Having it cold does help whisk it just a bit, but it still came out a little more dense, but it's it's beautiful. I actually really like the way this came out. So the Starbucks Instant Coffee actually doesn't make for the best Dalgona variety of coffee simply because the air pockets in that coffee are so small, it's actually very hard to whip extra air into it. Some of those cheaper coffee brands, the granulars are a lot bigger for their instant coffee, which does allow you for the sugar and the water to incorporate itself a bit better. It's like a soft, soft peak. It'll only go to a soft peak. But at least it tastes really good. Let's just make some weird stuff. Now, since we are making Boss Banana Black coffee, we are gonna need, well, just regular coffee. I like to use a French press for my daily coffee. So we're gonna go ahead and make a strong batch of French pressed coffee, mostly because this is really satisfying to do, but you can use whatever cold coffee you want. Since we made this strong, we are going to put this right over ice to go ahead and thin it out, but also to cool it down. I'm gonna need three different cups for three different coffees, but first we're gonna actually make our Banana Black hard. Now my take on this is that it's just the black coffee with the banana syrup. I'm using about one part banana syrup to two parts coffee, just so that way you have a nice balance of the two. And after stirring it together, I realized that I just needed a little bit more. So we're gonna give this just a bit more. And then I'm gonna put this into a shaker bottle because it just really didn't bring it together with just a spoon. After giving this a good shake, we actually see a lot of the color get incorporated into the coffee and it kind of makes it a little bit more pale. But look at that froth. Now we're gonna make our banana mocha. This is going to be really nice, but we also need to use espresso. So I'm gonna bust out my Nespresso maker and just pull one shot for this. 
Look at that froth, we want that. Now we're gonna add in about two tablespoons worth of our ganache, followed by two tablespoons worth of our banana syrup cream stuff. This one actually mixed together really well because of the hot espresso. Now we're gonna fill this with cold milk. Gandalf, really, dude? Just to cool down the mocha a little bit, hit this with a couple of ice cubes and we're pretty much done. Set these off to the side and let's make the failed Dalgona milk. For this, we're gonna fill up a nice rocks glass with a good amount of milk and then hit this with about three tablespoons worth of your banana syrup. Give this a good stir to fully incorporate everything and then hit this with about two tablespoons worth of your Dalgona froth stuff, I guess cream in this case. But keep in mind that this is very, very strong, so do not overdo it. Seriously, don't overdo it on this. It looks delicious. Not like Dalgona, but it's good. This is kind of just an experiment for today and I wanted to see if I could actually make a banana black coffee. Now I know that the coffee again is probably just black coffee with nothing in it. Sometimes they'll have cream or sugar in them, but this, this is actually banana black coffee. After I drink this, I'm gonna sprint like 4,000 meters. First one's first, banana black hard. That was, that was there. As sweet as that is, it's so good. Hold on. It just tastes like you're eating a banana while drinking coffee. That's literally what this tastes like. A little bit sweet. Next, this is the one that I'm most excited about, and this is the banana black mocha. And I think the reason for that is because I love chocolate and banana flavors, so... Oh my god. That's like drinking a chocolate-covered banana with coffee. Wow. Holy crap. Okay, that's good. Oh my god, I'm gonna... Oh, yes! And last but not least, kind of the, the failure of the Dalgona coffee, and that was because we used a Starbucks instant coffee like we talked about, but, I mean, it looks gorgeous. Look at, look at, look at the color. Oh, that's amazing. You get the richness and the bitterness of the coffee, but a little bit of the banana milk flavor right underneath it. I think the best way to enjoy this, though, is if you mix it together. Let's, let's try that. Or try to mix it together, I guess. It's so rich. I think it just now it just looks like poop water. Okay. So uh, mixing it does not work. Just a heads up. And remember, that small bowl was four cups of coffee. Do not drink this all at once, please. But that's so good. It's really sweet though. This is good, but it's really sweet. What's your favorite way of enjoying coffee or tea? I love milk tea. One of my favorite things to drink. I do really like this, but I feel like it's a little too sweet for me. I'm gonna save this for later. My name is Chef PK, here on Foodie Friday, bringing anime and video game food to life. Get subscribed, and remember, keep playing with your food. I know it's not, it's Wednesday. Don't, just, just go with it. So at a line with the phrase game, let's take a break, pin a long day, hit your line with your fog, with the lights,